and get some clear ideas. But without the mercy of the Lord and Guru them, we cannot do anything. But I They revealed the love of the adolescent pair of Vrindavan, which is a thousand times purer than gold. All glory to Rupa and Sanatana. Please. Give me this treasure of love. I will wear this gift like a jewel necklace around my neck. This jewel necklace strung with great care increases the beauty of the aspiring soul. Vilas Kusmanjali is the art prayer of Srila Raghunadas Goswami. Each of its flower-like lamentations is filled with the honey of divine grief. The practicing devotees Relish this honey like bumblebees and are always intoxicated by the strong desire of Srimati Radical's service. The address Jita Vidu Mukha Padme a lotus face defeats the moon is full of secret meanings. It awakens Srimati's remembrance of previous pastimes while she's been served and, and it merges her heart in deep intense relish. Your lotus life face defeats the Syama moon, blue moon, like an expert any craft girl, Tulsi draws a picture of the honey sweet Kunja pastimes and the canvas of Swamini's art. The water, the jugs, the sakis, everything is full of love for Radhika. Once Swamini is Manini in the Kunja house. Why is she angry? That nobody knows. It seems to be causeless peak. The course of love is crooked as his name, and so there can be peak with or without a cause. <coughs> so from beginning, beginning, uh, Rupa Sanatana, and we met the Ravanatha, that's also. They revealed the love of adolescent pair of Brindava. <coughs> mm. 
Goswami reveals the pastime of Radha and Moha. And also the love of Radhika for Moha. This highest love is Mahababa or Madana Mahababa. And they reveal to us. And then that highest love not only know but also could relish. Only Manjari could feel what Radhika's tasted and feeling the divine pastime and divine love. And this, especially Virapaksu Manjari, Raghunatha Das Goswami revealed to us Heartful prayer to the Swami is. And what is the divine feeling? And by their mercy, here mentioned, the practicing devotees relish the honey like bamboo bees. And always intoxicated by the strong desire of Shirima de Radicans. So, and then this vision again starts. And uh, Swamini is Manini. And manini means become angry with Mohan. And this, this Baba said, love is, the cause of love is not straight. Very crooked. Like snake. So that love may be with cause, also may be without cause. So if causes, Mohan could understand something. But if without cause, Mohan is completely uh, bewildered, but he does not know what to do. Then the story is going on. Siamo is eager, eager to hear something from Manini. So he says, My heart is filled with darkness. Please say something and destroy that darkness. Srimati then proposes the following conditions for her satisfaction. O Madhava from Pada Kalpataru. Oh Madhava, if you want my love, then write the following note, keeping Cupid as a witness. You will give up all your prankish pastimes. You will cast your esteem for your superiors far away. 
you will not look at anyone else but me, even in dreams. You will drink only the water of my words. You will sing my glories day and night. And you will not take any other girl on your lap. If you keep this shield in your hand, then I will take you into my heart again. Siama signs this love letter desiring for love to be obediently captured by Shirada in this way. He is very eager to meet her and like a thirsty bumblebee he is eager to drink the nectar from Swamini's lotus like face. How beautiful Baba Mai's lotus like face is at that time. Siamo Chandra, the black moon Krishna, is the figure in beauty. In this world, the moon cannot relish the beauty of the lotus flowers, since lotus flowers bloom only in sunlight. Rather, the moon defeats the lotus in beauty. But in the transcendental kingdom of love, all these things are reversed. This golden lotus flower is not defeated by the moon in beauty, rather it becomes more beautiful. Therefore, the moon fills his heart with the relish of the beauty of the lotus flower and then becomes defeated by its beauty himself. Siama has never relished any one face like this before. Krishna gratifies others by relishing, but he gratifies himself by relishing Shri Radharani. This Krishna moon is full of nectar from drinking the honey of Radhika's lotus-like face. <coughs> Radhika, the name, is the greatest worshiper for Mohan. That means <coughs> Srimati Radhika could fulfill all the desire of Mohan in full extent. So, here mentioned, Krishna gratify others by relishing, but Mohan gratify himself by relishing Sri Radhara. This Krishna moon 
is full of nectar from drinking the honey of radicals from the space. So that means without radical, uh, Mohan could not grati gratify himself <coughs> fully. <coughs> so to please Krishna fully and needs Radhika's presence, Radhika's seva. Therefore, Raghunath does say, how will you not go any place uh, which Govinda worship only alone? Or uh, we, I don't go any place, some place without glorifying Shrimati Radhika glory. Our Gaudiya Vajnava. It's Radhika's. Yeah. Our Gaudiya Vajnava was his Shrimati Radhika's glory. And also, if we glorify Radhika, then we also understand Radhika's made servants glory. So therefore, if some of you understand Radhika's glory and Radhika's male servant's glory, that person's uh, relish and just be a back smile. In the Purvaraga beginnings of love, condition, in the Purvaraga condition, we can see that the youthful spiritual cupid of Vrindavan doesn't like anyone else but Radharam, thinking that they are all Radha. He embraces golden jainty flowers, land lotuses, and so on, telling his Brahmana friend Madhumangala, Oh friend, won't you show me this Radha? Madhumangala writes Radha's name and a lotus petal. Seeing the syllables of her name, Krishna is satisfied and says, These syllables are my very life. Such love he could not find anywhere in this world. That's why the personification of intense bliss, Mohan, is so mad after Shimati. The Sakis bring the water. <coughs> this day, in the Purvanaga, beginning of love, condition. We can see the useful spiritual cupid of Rindama does not like anyone else but Radhika. Thinking that they are all Radha, he embraced golden jinti flower round the waters and so on. So in Kama Gayatri, 
Ezel Kama Devaya Vidomaya In the Cupid of Vrindavan A spiritual Cupid Here Baba mentioned Useful spiritual cupid of Vrindavan does not like anyone else but God. That means whenever cupid of Vrindavan is there, Radharani is there. <laughs> whenever Radharani is there, Manjari is there. Mm. So therefore, Guru Dev says, this Kama Gaiju is described not only spiritual cupid, but also Shrimati Radharaj and also Manchak. And another story is also interesting. Krishna is so much hankering Radhika was so much love for Radhika. Therefore, he is asking, Won't you show me this Radha? <coughs> Means, will you show me Radha? Would you show me Radha? Then Madhu Mangala said, He took Lotus Petal. And, and write Radhika's names and then give it to Krishna. Then Krishna sees Radhika's name. So Moha is so happy. Then Moha said, These syllables are my very life. Such love he could not find anywhere in this world. That's why the personification of intense bliss, Mohan, is so much after Shri. So Mohan satisfies the seeing the letter of Shri Radha. Also, if someone chants La, La, if someone chants La and then Krishna's ear, Krishna's attention was like this. Oh, who is chanting my, my Swami's half name? Oh, who is chanting La? And then someone say La, then Krishna ran after in that path. <clears throat> so this is writing and also chanting the name of Radha also to please Moha. So this story is clarified. So if we write the name of Radhika, was sick, was chanting Radhika's name, he will breathe. May I share one? <coughs> 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 what does that around this? Eh? I don't know. No, no, I just. Uh, <coughs> This point is a very, very important and uh, very touching hard point. We listened again and again. Moha is the embodiment of the most blissful. This Moha is attracted by Radha's name. How gorgeous we are. 
Understanding Baba Mai's feeling, Tulsi jokingly calls her Jita Vidu Mukha Padre and thus makes Swami relish the memory of Mohan and her pastimes with him. The bath water is drawn from the spotless Yamuna and is also colored like Mohan. Affectionate Lalita Sati does not personally bath Swamini, but says to Tulsi, I will bath Radhika through you. While Tulsi sits Swamini on a jewel platform and slowly pours the fragrant water over her, Shirupa Goswami, Shirupa Manjari, hands her the jugs. One Kinkari most blissfully rubs Swamini's body with her open breath that she keeps in her soft and tall. And another Kinkari rubs her hair. Tulsi bath Swamini with lots, lots of water, scented with perfume, comfort, and roses. During this bathing festival, the fish-like eyes of the sakis and jaris swim in the endless nectar stream of Swami's beautiful face, eyes, lips, teeth, and limbs. Swamini shivers, but the king can know it is of ecstasy and not of cold, of the cold. After her bath, is completed, Swami calls Tulsi. Tulsi, my bath is finished. Dry me off now. Suddenly, the divine vision vanishes. Even now, Swami's funny, sweet words flow near the mirrors. 
Shiragana, then cries of grief and praise to Swami. When will you immerse me in the rasa of this devotional service? Hey. <coughs> so this is a very beautiful description. So Radhika, when Radhika is bathing time, Radhika Saki or other Saki, that does not personally bathe. He has said, Narita Saki said to Tulasi, I will bathe Radhika through you. So this is very beautiful. Because Narita Saki is very senior. And uh, Saki loves Manjari also. And uh, Saki orders Manjari, you do this. <coughs> and then Manjari is happy to do this bathing seva. This is also a very important point. <laughs> so after Manjari is bathing, so Tolashi bathes Swamini with Lots of water. And <clears throat> one Kinkari most briefly loves Swamini's body with her open blade. And she keeps in her soft hand palm. And another Kinkari loves her hair. <clears throat> And then Tonashi bathes Swamini's with lots of water. Scents with perfume, camphor, and roses. During this bathing festival, the fish like eye of the Saki and Manjari swim in the endless nectar stream of Swami's beautiful face, eyes, lips, teeth, and limbs. The Swami shivers, but the Kinkari knows it is of ecstasy and not of cold. I feel because for bathing, Jamuna water, Saki Manjari bring Jamuna water. So Yamuna water's color is blackish. Also in the Yamuna water, Radha Mohan did so many pastimes in, inside Jamuna. So Mohan, uh, Mohan did for Radhika so many pastimes. Then Radhika see the Yamuna water. And he, he, she remember Mohan. And also Mohan, who is Mohan's amorous pastime, intimate pastime. And also, a manjari, a manjari loves Radhika's body because of, of bathing. This manjari's touch is Krishna's touch. Manjari knows how Krishna touch Radhika. Also, also Radhika. <coughs> Uh, also, Manjari uh, touching Radhika's hair. 
and then lovely. At that time, Radhika see her blackish hair. And then Radhika remembered also Mohan. So all these <coughs> Udipana, all kind of all kind of remembrance some happening. As if Moha is there, or Maha Moha is touching. So therefore, Radhika is shivering. I feel. Hey, Radhe Kamalini. Lotus, you're simply amazing. Your lotus-like face captivates Mohan. His love for you is called Lalita. From Dira Lalita, or meaning simply lovely. And honey, to his loving nature, your heart melts. When shall I fill all the jugs with water scented with comfort, flowers, and perfumes? O oh, Ishwari, may I always be allowed to shower you with the scented water, this is my submissive prayer to your lotus feet. Aripad Shila desires this treasure of service. Let me remain forever at the lotus feet of Das Goswami. This is my submissive prayer to your lotus feet. Why shall I fill all the jug with water scented with camphor flower perfume? Oh, Ishwari, may I always be allowed to shower you with this scented water. This is my submissive prayer to your lotus feet. Haripada Sira desires this treasure of service. Let me remain forever at the lotus feet of Nasarosa. So let me remain forever at the lotus feet of Nasarosa. So what, what does it mean? I feel this is I will follow. I will be Rupa Nuga I follow Ragnata Das Goswami, who follow Rupa. I will follow Ragnata Das Goswami, who is follow Rupa. So this is our also desire. We follow and we let me demand forever at the lotus feet of Nasakosa.
I have a question. So, yeah, just short. I want to listen from Madura Rasa Didi. How do you feel to listen? I want to listen your feeling, if possible. I, I don't know. What is your feeling? What's your feeling now? Yeah. Be yeah, because your reading is very beautiful. What is your meditation and what you are feeling? I want to listen from your mouth. Rather, rather. Very beautiful. I, I just try to listen and keep in my heart this this description, this prayers, and I am very grateful to Ananta Baba that has given us this wonderful book. Mm. These are my feelings. <laughs> and also to Jayananda Maharaj that is explaining, and also to the of course that even if not is a uh, Words are not said very often, he doesn't co comment very often, but when he does, this is very deep. Mm. And he, he has, by his grace, his words become deep, become, become deep in there. I think that for everyone is deep. Rather, rather. Yeah, rather. No. No. <laughs> we are, when I read this very, very detailed and beautiful description of how to Simanjari by the, the real order of Agya, of Florida Saki, making bath to Shimati Radhika. Mm. I'm feeling what without bow or sarati means, without lifting own desire to be, desire for own happiness in this world. If person, if I not will give to Shemati Radhika all my feelings of my heart, not possible to follow the open government of just Janam Vishitot. Only when it's happened in heart, then I open all my feelings to Shemati Radhika, everything of my heart. ああ、ウェルフォー。ああ、ウェルフォー。ああ、ウェルフォー。ああ、ウェルフォー。ああ、ウェルフォー。ああ、ウェルフォー。ああ、ウェルフォー。ああ、ウェルフォー。ああ、
Thank you so much. Uh, first, uh, I'm. I think this is my first time reading this course, and the passing service is very. I like the. I feel like the one of the most very intimate, very confidential kind of service. What I feel like it could be like material understanding, but just because like uh, this is very intimate, but uh, intimate service, but it's described in this verse, and then commentary is very detailed, step by step or what happened what happened it's this is so like merciful that this service is described like this and like so that it helps us our meditation uh, yet i i don't have so much meditation yet but this is probably how you guys always say like commentary is very merciful and how it helps our meditation um yeah and I hope I can meditate a little bit more. But yeah. <coughs> That's it. Actually, I couldn't, I couldn't listen to all the uh, commentary because I was doing some service. But if I could say something about my feeling now is um, in, when I'm in Brindavan, there is a lot of seva service, and sometimes I cannot do enough chanting. But I remember that maybe one month or two months ago, Radha Charanti shared on Zoom class that when we are doing a lot of service, we cannot have enough time for myself to do chanting. But even if we are doing some service, the, and the service is um, any kind of service, we are trying to uh, meditate. This service is doing for Sri Madhyadarani. But at this moment, I cannot, I, I feel, um, if I could, if I was so busy, I cannot meditate like that, just confusing. But yes, but this is the opportunity for me to um, practice. Yeah, so thank you very much for giving me a lot of service. Open and also because I don't speak English, but also because 
and my character is not much open. Eh, sì, quando leggo il genere lo leggo per conto mio, mi danno dei sentimenti che però io sono molto personali, non, mm-hmm. non condivido. Usually I, I read by myself and alone and uh, usually um, I, I am not used to, to share my feelings. Una volta all'inizio Gurudeva mi ha dato una benedizione speciale senza dirmela. <ride> Ho ricevuto tante benedizioni da Gurudeva immediatamente. I received the la, lots of Appena love. ho deciso di prenderlo come guru, uh, prima ancora di darmi iniziazione. Uh, since the beginning when I I decided to to take shelter to to guru them even before taking Disha from him um, he gave me lot, lots of mercy and blessing e mi succedeva una cosa a cui bellissima a cui ero molto attaccato and i had some experience very beautiful to which i was very much uh, attached e l'ho detto a una lezione c'era anche Gurudeva qualche giorno dopo che mi succedeva questo uh, I said um, I shared this in, during the class when also Gurudeva was present e immediatamente è andata via and immediately this blessing flew away ho, ho sentito proprio che se n'è andata and I feel that this realization of feeling was going away perciò non <laughs> From that moment I don't like to share. È così difficile avere una realizzazione per me che poi la devo perdere. No? It's so difficult for me to get a realization that I, I don't want to risk to lose it. Sorry, <laughs> se non vi posso aiutare, scusate. Someone who is in, in the ocean grassa, in the swarpa pesha, does not want to disclose. Feel. But uh, someone who wants to enter in the NASA, the person who wants to share. Gurudev dice che se una persona è già nell'oceano del rasa non vuole condividere i suoi sentimenti. Mentre una persona che vuole entrare nell'oceano del rasa condivide i suoi sentimenti. Io non sono, magari fossi nell'oceano del rasa. No, no. No, io, io non sono adatta alla vita spirituale, sì. ho solo ricevuto della misericordia da Guru Zè. Uh, I am not uh, how to say, fit for spiritual life, I just received some mercy from Guru Zè. È una, questa è la misericordia di Shaitanya Mahaprabhu che è incondizionata, viene offerta a tutti. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy that is costless and it is offered to everybody. Ho avuto la fortuna di accettare questa misericordia, quella sì. I had the fortune to accept this mercy, that's a call. Molti, ho visto che molti no, non sono interessati, non accettano. Um, I saw that sometimes others, um, uh, for others it is not they don't accept Guru Deva è così misericordioso che ha detto vi porterò tutti a casa la stessa verrà a prenderci in ogni casa but Guru Deva is so merciful that 
towards everybody that is said that he will bring home everybody. Tutto qua non... <laughs> I think, you know, <coughs> so such a brother is, you know, and uh, Madera Saj is most senior devotee <laughs> among us. All, all the <laughs> no. No, 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 but also, no, no, also experience. <laughs> you are more senior than I, more experienced than I. <laughs> so I also, honestly, I want to hide you know, myself. But uh, Guru Dev kindly forced me to speak something. So, so therefore, I request both of you say more, <laughs> more openly. This is my own request. Jaya Maharaj says that Guru Dev Kaimuri Sahib e ha detto che anche lui avrebbe voluto nascondersi ma in qualche modo il Gurudeva lo ha forzato un po' a parlare e, e insomma lui per questo sta parlando e che vorrebbe chiedere sia a Sakevrata che a Madhuria Rasa a me di, di essere più aperti e di dire di più sono, sono posizioni diverse, io non ho nessuna conoscenza, non ho niente. Lui, lei Ananda, ha un ruolo preciso, è il suo dovere. You, it is your duty, you have a, a, a role, and uh, he, he, he says, I have no knowledge, and it, it, my position is that, <laughs> this one. But you have a feeling, I may not have a feeling. Però tu hai sentimenti, io vorrei avere... Questo è Gurudev. Gurudev è, è vero che è, 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 è ci indica la via, però è, nello stesso tempo. Nello stesso tempo è il canale dove passa la misericordia. At the same time is the channel through which the mercy is coming, is flowing. In Bhagavad Gita noi no, penso che non riusciamo a capire fino in fondo. Krishna dice ad Arjuna, poiché tu sei mio amico e devoto, io ti do, la conosci- ti do tutto. Um, i don't know if I can, we, we can understand uh, fully, but in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says that Arjuna, uh, because you are my friend, I give you all, everything. Loro, no, noi abbiamo un concetto di amico materiale. Our conception. Uh, of uh, friendship is material. Ma uh, a livello spirituale c'è un amore incredibile. But uh, in a spiritual dimension, uh, in this relationship, there is an in, inconceivable love. Chi che mangiare, non ti ripeto che l'hanno detto, sono villaggiato. Sì. E un coffee, cosa vuoi? Non è già una di uno solo. Even though it's not safe. I received a good experience. Then, Shunguru then wants to me to speak, means to share some things which is coming 
the same time, uh, also you see it from him, chastisement when I uh, opening something which is supposed for me, only for me, not for others. It's, it's um, coming gradually by desire to serve Shimateralika for beings. Gradually it's coming with understanding, feeling inside what I can open now to this particular person or persons according to her desire. Then I feel this internal direction, then perfect. We have two directions. External, from coming from Guru, Sadhu, Shastra, and internal, from the heart. The direction to the heart is coming, but it's need time to, to, to learn how to follow heart. And when we are speaking, how to not open more, but open to such extent that the desire should not radically be fulfilled. Yeah. Thank you very much again today. Thank you, Mother, for this meeting. Awesome. Our God has always given us lessons here, how to speak, what example we can use, how much example we can use, how to follow, always follow the moods of Raghunathas Goswami, Anandas Babaji Maharaj, how we live it, always receiving these instructions, lessons, every day.